Hello, Zalalem from 2620 is active. Today we will continue on the exercise uh, on Java exception handling. In the previous video, we have seen how to uh, use a try catch construct to uh, handle exceptions. Uh, now we will see the other concepts in exception handling, including the throw, throws and uh, keywords and as well as we will create our own exception class uh, extending the uh, java library exception class so, so before we go to our exercise if you are new to my channel please subscribe and if you like the video like comment and share so let's create our exercise our uh, custom exception class and let's call it edge exception okay so here we have got the ex edge exception class. We will extend from the exception class. Okay. So we will uh, overwrite the method to string. And we will say public string to string. And we will say return edge must must be over 18 okay so now we have got our custom exception class we can add our specific methods as we have discussed in the class uh, lectures and exercises we can have specific uh, methods specific to the edge exception we can overwrite the other methods in the throwable class in the java library but for our purpose, this is enough. So we will go to the main uh, class, which is the exception exercise, and let's define uh, edge, uh, an integer representing edge. Okay, so we will use it in a method which throws the edge exception. So let's say static void get edge and it throws edge exception class okay so now now we use the throws uh, keyword here so here we will say okay here we will guide the user to enter their edge and then we will edge scanner class which is new scanner okay so here we are using the java library scanner class which is taking input from the user now we will assign edge to be next int and here if edge is less than 18 we will say throw new edge exception okay else let's assume that this is a club and if they are welcome to welcome to the club okay now what we can now this method throws edge exception so you cannot use it uh, by itself you cannot call it by itself for example if you say get edge and call it you will get an error because the compiler tells you that this uh, method must be caught with a try catch statement so when you have a checked exception for example in java like for example file not found exception it has to be caught uh, code or it should be uh, wrapped in a try catch statement otherwise it will be an error so we have to use we will say get edge and here we will say catch we can say exception because edge exception is the child of exception that can be accepted but let's use the edge exception 
class okay so here we will say h not allowed and we will say plus e okay so as we have implemented the two string method we expect the edge not allowed uh, statement to be followed by edge must be over 80 okay so if we compile this one we will be asked to enter oh error has occurred there is an error actually it's a class not found exception. This happened because I renamed the project main class, which was exceptions originally, to exception ex, thinking that it might create a conflict during extending the exception class from the Java library. And this is a good example that class not found exception is a checked exception that will not allow uh, compilation and running. So that's why it failed so this is a good example you can check it on the uh, output just above the command execution field red line you'll find it's java language class not found exception okay so let's let us rename it back refactor it properly to the exceptions and rerun it so if we compile this one we will get a message to enter our edge okay so it asks please enter your edge let's enter 21 so here we we get welcome to the club because the edge is more than 80 so let's run it and make it below 80 okay so let's make it 16 and we will get edge not allowed edge must be over 18 so we have handled the edge error in our club that's how we create custom edge exceptions okay custom edge exceptions custom exceptions i'm sorry uh, by extending the exception class and then when we use them we have to throw them in a method okay if the method doesn't throw them then it will be uh, impossible to pick up the error in your uh, implementation like this so that's how you create custom exception and use the throws and throw um, keywords to handle exceptions custom exceptions or exceptions in the java library that's it for this video thank you very much for your time